back for the one more session. This is Osan Nayak from Kendra Engineering College. In this uh, video, we will study 8255 that is programmable peripheral interface. In the previous video, we studied how we can interface uh, different types of sensors and activators to the embedded system, just like stepper motor, keypad, push button switch, all those things we studied. So, in this video, so we will see programmable peripheral uh, interface. So, <coughs> programmable peripheral interface uh, uh, device are used for extending the I.O. capability of processors or controllers. Normally, controller will have uh, like uh, sufficient number of uh, I.O. capability, but in case of processor, processor will not have sufficient number of uh, I.O. capability. So, that is why what we do is, uh, we can expand the ca I.O. capability of the processor or controller by using A25A. So, A255A is a programmable peripheral interface uh, which supports 24 I.O. pins. So, these I.O. pins are grouped to like uh, uh, grouped like port A, port B and port C. All are 8 bit port, port A, port B and port C. In that port A and port B are 8 bit port, port C is further divided into uh, 2 4 bit port name as uh, like uh, C upper port and C lower port like C upper port and uh, C lower port 4 bit for C upper port and 4 bit for a uh, C lower port. Now this A255 is called as a programmable peripheral interface. Why it is called as a programmable peripheral interface means uh, it has got something called as a control register which holds uh, the configuration for uh, port A, port B, port C. So you can configure, you can program that uh, uh, control register to change the configuration according to your need. That's why it is called as a programmable peripheral uh, interface. It is called as a programmable peripheral interface. So now this control register uh, is a 8-bit register. Now control register is a 8-bit register. So here you can see this, this register will be there inside the 8255. This register has got 8 bits. So the 8 bit, 7th, like 8 bit, in this case it is 7th bit because we starts with 0. If it is 0, then it is, then your 8255 will remain in bit reset mode. If it is a 1, it will remain in a, a, like a, a simple I.O. mode the I.O. mode. So, let me take you to that uh, diagram. <coughs> so, here you can see uh, students like uh, there are two modes for A255 that is decided by bit 7 of the control register. Bit 7 of the control register, if that bit is 0, then, then it acts like a bit reset mode. That A255 acts like a bit reset mode, bit uh, set reset mode. The bit otherwise it will act like a input and output mode. We will see that one. What is bit reset mode? This bit, this bit set reset mode is used to set to or reset uh, bits of the port C only. So, bits of the port C only. For making, uh, for making, uh, uh, like uh, for making this one, that is to convert 8255 into bit reset mode, you have to change the value of the 7th bit to 0. If you make the value of 7th bit to 0, this indicates your 8255 in bit reset mode, bit set reset mode and you only, you can change the bits of the port C. How you can change the bits of the port C? So, when you make uh, this bit, that is this bit, 7th bit is equal to 1, uh, sorry, 0, this indicates it, uh, sorry, 7th bit is equal to 0, this indicates uh, it is in the bit reset mode. Then bit D4, D5, D6, let it be don't care. This is a don't care condition. It can be anything. Then we use here bit D1, D2, D3. 
सपोज बिट डी वन डी टू डी थ्री इज इक्वल दिस कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो 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 देन इट विल सेट द फर्स्ट बिट जीरो बिट ऑफ द पोर्ट सी इफ इट इज वन जीरो जीरो वन इट विल सेट द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ द पोर्ट सी जीरो वन जीरो इट विल सेट द सेकेंड बिट ऑफ द पोर्ट सी सपोज इज वन 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 इट विल सेट द सेवेंथ बिट ऑफ द पोर्ट सी वी नो पोर्ट सी इज एट बिट फोर्ट एंड इट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड टू for two four bits like c upper and c lower and to make particular particular bit either zero or one you need to use this one if you make particular bit is equal to zero or one then you need to use this this value d0 so suppose if you want to make the like uh, particular bit is equal to zero or one you need to use this one For example, I will use this value d3, d2, d1 is equal to zero, zero, one, zero. Zero when you use zero, one, zero, then this will. Uh, this is the third combination. The first combination is zero, zero, zero. Second combination is zero, zero, one. So first combination will set uh, uh, bit zero of the C uh, port C. This combination is at bit one. This combination, uh, this combination is for bit two. So, what this will do? This will either set or reset the bits bit two of port C, depending on this one. If you keep this as zero, then this sec second bit of port C is a zero. If you keep this as one, second bit of the port C will uh, acts like a one. so in this way you can change this one now so other than that when the seventh bit is one then it acts like a input output mode so you can see here uh, input output mode 8 to 5 5 acts like input output mode so what is that input output mode in in the input output mode once again three modes are there mode 0 mode 1 and uh, something called as uh, mode 2 uh, yeah mode 2 or mode 3 so mode 0 means a simple basic input output mode all a, a port a port b port c acts like input output Port one, port A and port B can be used as input output. To port C are used for handshaking. Like handshaking is the procedure. Uh, it is used to uh, used before transmitting the data from one end to the other end, so that both side of the transmission will uh, negotiate uh, negotiate certain condition before transmitting the data. That condition is called as a handshaking condition. So third one is a uh, mode three here. Port A can work, but port B can be either in mode zero or mode one, and port C are used for a handshaking. Port C can be used for handshaking. So input output uh, we have three modes: mode zero, mode one, and mode three. Next, so now we will move to the diagram. So here you can see, <coughs> as I said. Uh, This bit is one that indicates it is in it is in simple I O mode. It is not in bit reset mode. It is in simple I O mode. So as I told earlier, A two five five A is a programmable peripheral interface. This contains a control register. Control register holds the configuration for port A, port B, port C. In A two five five A, we have twenty four pins. These pins are divided into three ports of eight bits each. So port A is 8 bit, port B is 8 bit, and port C is also 8 bit. But port C is further divided into uh, like C upper and uh, C lower, C lower, four bits each. So uh, depending on the uh, different types of configuration in the configuration register or control register, this uh, this port A, port B, port B can be configured as either input port or output out input mode or output mode that we will see here now. so this is simple input output mode now we need to see the bit 5 and 6 what about bit 5 and 6 you you see when bit 5 and 6 two bit four combination is there 
the first combination is 0 0 means it acts in mode 0 I told you what is mode 0 mode 0 all the ports acts in simple input output mode and if it is 0 1 it will act in mode 1 mode 1 uh, port uh, like uh, port A works uh, work in uh, simple input output mode port B works in uh, So let me repeat, uh, mode 0, all the ports works in simple input output mode. Mode 1, port A and port B can be used as input output mode, input output mode, input or output mode and port C used for hand seeking and in the mode 3, uh, uh, only port A can work, uh, port A can work, uh, port B is either in uh, mode, uh, mode 0 or mode 1 and port C can be work in hand seeking only. So, so this is the combination uh, to select the mode whether mode 0 mode 1 or mode 2 mode 0 mode 1 or mode 2 now we'll start from left hand uh, so here d0 this bit uh, is used so total this uh, this once again we are classified into group a and group c group a deals with the upper port c and port b groups a deal, sorry group b deals with upper port c and port b group a deals with the like uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry group b deals with the lower port c and b and group a deals with the upper port c and port a so i will take first a bit uh, this bit uh, d0 when this bit is 1, this indicates it is the input mode and when this bit is 0, this indicates output mode. Similarly, this bit, it is 1, it indicates input mode and 0, this indicates a output mode. This is input or output. What about mode 0, mode 1? Uh, so, you know what is mode 0. Mode 0 means simple input output mode. Mode 1 means uh, uh, like uh, and shaking mode, and shaking. So mode zero. So this one, this one, bit two is used to configure either mode zero or mode one. Mode zero or mode one. Once again, let me take you to here. You see, in this diagram, mode zero means simple or basic input output mode. Mode one means and stays shake or strobed mode. Mode three means bidirectional mode. So here. This acts like a mode 0 or mode 1 depending on the selection either 0 or 1 that is one is handshake or strobed mode other one is simple input output mode. Now bit D3, D3 is used to configure upper port of a, uh, upper port of a, uh, port C, port C. So here you see this is the, this, this is used to configure port c upper uh, like upper port uh, like uh, uh, like upper uh, port c uh, like say pc4 to pc7 when it is 1 this indicates input mode when it is 0 it will indicate output mode similarly this bit is used to configure port a when it is a 1 input uh, 0 output and here these two bits uh, we know it is used to configure mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 here this group you cannot configure in mode 2 this group you can configure in mode 2 also this group you can configure in mode 2 also so now we will see some of the examples so you will understand here so let me take you to some of the example so let's see the first example here This is the first example. So we need to program the control world for simple input output mode for making port A, port B and input port uh, port A and port B as input port and port C upper as upper and port C lower as output port. Port C upper and port C lower as output port. That means uh, here I will take you to this diagram first. So this is the diagram. So our requirement is, uh, first one is, uh, it should be simple input output mode. Simple input output mode, like it is a simple input output mode. Second one is uh, port A 
so let me take to uh, take you to that uh, this one port a and port b port a and port b as input port so port a port a and b port a and port port b as input this is input and total port c is output upper and lower port c is output we want this one but simple io mode like control word for simple io mode so what we will do is like you see here first you have to see the control bit control bit is one control bit is one for simple uh, like uh, it is not bit reset mode it is a simple io mode simple io mode that is control bit should be one for a simple io mode then this two bit for mode zero so we should set this is one and this two bits should be zero zero you know why it is zero zero why it is zero zero this two bit should be zero zero because we want to select mode 0 mode 0 and here also port b also mode 0 port b mode 0 how you select the port b mode 0 port b mode 0 this bit this bit is also 0 then both c upper port like c port both uh, entire c port should be output that is one is upper uh, C port and lower C port is output and port B and port A as input one year and one year. So when you convert this into hexadecimal, this is uh, 9, this is 10019 and this 0010, this is 2, 92 in hexadecimal. 92 in a hexadecimal so now we will see we need to make simple like simple input output mode so mode is simple simple input output then we want port b port a as input so port a as a input port b port b as output i want port b as output port c upper as input once again port c lower as output and finally here control word you see 98 you should get so first I will take you to that uh, particular diagram. Here you see, so first simple I, uh, input output mode. So simple input output mode means uh, this should be, this should be one, you know, this should be one. This, is, this should not be zero because zero, if you select zero, then it will go into be a bit set reset mode. Then uh, simple uh, input output mode, simple input output mode here, uh, you need to select mode zero so mode 0 that is 0 0 bit this bit is 0 0 now we will start from this end like port c upper is equal to input which is port c upper you see here port c upper is this one this should be input input means 1 here should be 1 then port c lower is 0 this one port c lower is equal to 0 this should be out uh, sorry port c lower is equal to output 0 other than that port a input so port a you see here port a this bit uh, input port b output so this is port b port b output and port b is in simple mode uh, this one simple mode so now if you see this one and this one uh, you will get 9 and 8 98 98 so this is the control word now we will move to the next one
So in this diagram you see here how to change the particular bit of port C. For example, I want to change the particular bit of port C. Then I should go to bit reset mode. Bit reset mode. That is D7 should be 0 and other 3 bits is don't care. And other than that, uh, to set the 5th bit of the port C, I need to use 101 and I want to set that one. To clear the 5th bit, to reset the 5th bit, uh, once again 101, I should uh, uh, make D0 is equal to 0. To set the 4th bit, 4th uh, bit 100, uh, zero, zero. this combination should be 100 zero zero and 1. To set the 7th bit, 111 uh, one, one, uh, and D0 should be 1. To set the bit, uh, you are using 1. To reset the bit, you are using 0. And uh, to select the bit, D, uh, like uh, uh, for, uh, select the for, uh, bits of port C, you have to use uh, these three bits combination. 0, 0, 0 means uh, first bit. 0, 0, 1 means second bit, like that. So this is the control world. Next, uh, so how you can interface uh, 8255 to the uh, processor or controller you can see the diagram here you will see the diagram here so this contains uh, a25 a2c55a or or we call this as a2 that is programmable peripheral interface so here this interface uh, sorry this one we are going to connect to the processor why we are connecting this to the processor or controller to in order to expand the capability of io io that means it has got uh, it has got 24 pins that 24 pins are classified into port a port b port c and depending on the configuration it works like io mode strobed mode or handshake mode or bidirectional mode so now here while connecting uh, what we are doing is uh, we are connecting eight so normally eight 2555 8255 has got uh, yeah, or our controller has got 8 a, like uh, a, 8 data lines so that 8 data lines are connected to the 8255 now it has got 8 data lines this controller but this controller has got 16 address lines in order to uh, like uh, go for optimized design in order to save the number of pins uh, what we are using here is multiplexing same data bus we are taking and using address latch enable we are treating we are converting that as address lines same data bus we are taking and we are converting that as address lines that is a2 to a7 something like that and we have here a0 and a1 anyway a2 to a7 then we will take higher order address but a8 and a15 and you will generate 16 bit address so 16 bit address are generated by using a multiplexing technology that is it makes use of the same data bus you know data bus and address bus cannot be used simultaneously you know that one na? so data bus it will make use of the data bus and it will convert that data bus it will use that data bus as address bus for using that address bus as address bus i am using latch here 74 ls33 and uh, through that latch it is connect, uh, connected to address decoder the other input for the address decoder is a higher order address bus that is A8 to A15. Like this, it will generate a 16 uh, line address lines, 16 address lines. And we have read, write, reset. All these are connected to the microcontroller. In this way, we can interface A255 to the program processor or controller and we can expand the capability io capability of the processor and this io is used to connect uh, input output device so by using this io pins we can connect uh, various uh, input output uh, device so with this student we have covered uh, all the like uh, in, uh, sensors and activated device which we we use normally to connect uh, in, uh, connect uh, in the embedded system in the next session we will see what are the different component, components of the communication interface to the embedded system such as uh, USB, RS-232, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, all those things uh, we will study in the next video session. 
थैंक यू फॉर योर कोऑपरेशन थैंक यू